Alright guys, so today we will be talking about the best kind of dog to own in my opinion. Now, <clears throat> this is going off of three rules, which was cost, hyperactiveness, and like, basically, that's basically all I went off of on this trip. Now, I went off of through my mind, and so how I started this, for anyone who also wants to try to like actually do the, re re <clears throat> the research thing, I didn't do the research thing. I went off of what I know about dogs, which this is just all like my perspective. So to start with, we are going to start with, I'm sorry. To start with, we're going to go ahead and go and check off dogs. So we're gonna start with my dog personally, which is Avery the German Shepherd. She is a German Shepherd and Australian mix, so they are very hyperactive, as in they they run around a lot. They she does a lot. I mean, she scratched at my friends that came over yesterday, Sunday, Veterinary Day. So they came over on um, Veterinary Day and um, Veterans Day. I'm sorry, and um, they came over and like Avery scratched them up, and I was super sorry about that. If you are watching. But she's really active and she likes to do that. She goes on walks a lot, but like she mainly gets all of her energy out from running around her dog. And um, so our uh, um, so I check it off the German Shepherd and the um, Australian Shepherd tomorrow's video or the next video you go up will be all about how like to train big dogs because Avery was not easy trust me trust you and me she was not easy and um so our next dog is going to be of course I thought about Jackal Terriers but they also go underneath the um, exact same requirements of they are super hyperactive and you know ours which is Paige she has she's not we got a chill one but like most of them will pop like 100 balloons in like one minute they're super active they're super running around they'll run around the yard like 10,000 times they have so much energy and they are mainly for like dogs that have owned like other dogs like that like if you have owned like different kinds of dogs, then you will go up to this dog. And you will get a, go ahead and go get a Jackal Go ahead. Sorry, my dog's barking. My dad's making her try to howl, I'm pretty sure. But, um, so this mainly is because so what I thought of, which this is my roundabout, I didn't go through like the hundred times, the hundreds of hundreds of types of dog breeds. I didn't go through that. I decided to just like kind of ride it off on this dog because this dog personally, I do not like owning because they're so small. Small dogs I like, but like certain types of small dogs I like. This one happened to not fall underneath this. So we're gonna start with that this dog is a foot. What are you? What type of animal does that? Why does everyone go? <laughs> oh yeah, there's like this animal inside my room and I don't know what it is. It's like this little insect, but um. um I'll show you this. I can't look back. So um, this animal is of course the Chihuahua. I thought the Chihuahuas were like the best for probably a couple of reasons. One, I will actually look up how much they cost so I could tell you precisely how much they cost. Okay, so I searched the internet a little bit, Google. I searched Google a little bit and I searched up how much is the cheapest kind of dog. It said that the Harrier dogs were, but when I looked up how much Harriers cost, they cost more than the average Chihuahua did. So we're gonna go with a Chihuahua. So a Chihuahua costs between $300 and $500. Now, this is going from Wikipedia and 
You can go ahead and look it up yourself. It might change a little bit, but this is what I found personally. So $300 to $500, but there's like two types of chihuahuas. There's one chihuahua, which is like just a normal chihuahua, and then there's the teacup chihuahua, which the teacup chihuahua cost about $2,000. Now, I will tell you a little bit about what you have to buy for them as well, because I think this is like requirements for like all dogs. But Avery, we got a little bit, we got a little bit, um, she wasn't cheap, according to my dad. I don't know how much she cost. She was my birthday present. She was my birthday present. Yep. Okay, so I would say that like the first like requirements, and like you can go off of this. Requirements are you should always try to like buy to the best of your ability. We'll start it with categories. So our first category is playtime and stuff like that, leashes, collars. So what you need to start with is a collar. Now I go off of basically that is, um, sorry, my phone just got a notification I need to put it away. Um, so you should always start with a collar and the type of collar that like we first got with Avery was like this like collar, collar, but like if you want to do a little safety things, we found this one collar, which we ended up losing. It has like this flash reflect around it. My, my, there's a lot of noise going on in my head. Just ignore that. And um, so she, <clears throat> so these have like a right, lighter reflect, so that way if like a car like shines on it, it shines back as in like there's a, person or dog here but um we got is a simple collar like as long as you fix your dog's neck and will fit for like a little bit of time i would like just spend the extra time just going through your local pet store which yeah that's it um another one is um so another collar um another thing is like leashes so I don't know the average of how much this will cost, but I will tell you exactly how much this is itself. It's like, so leashes cost, you can get like the rope leashes, which is just normal rope leashes that has a handle at the end, which is, I wouldn't think it's that much, but I really don't know. And then, or you could get one of those like really fancy leashes that has like the big thing at the end where like you can hold it and like it has just like this thing and like the leash inside. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? I think it's like in the, um, I don't know exactly how to explain it, but like if you look up leashes, it will probably come up. And um, another thing is I, so we go more into the playtime thing, which is um, you would probably want to buy like tennis balls. Tennis balls are like the best for like dogs. Because my dog absolutely loves them. She tears them up, she throws them everywhere. And like, I think it's the best thing for dogs, for my dog at least. Your dog might not like them, but like, all dogs are different. But I would start with a tennis ball and a rope. If you guys know what that means, it's like, it's like this tiny little, if you look up dog toy ropes, then you'll probably see what I'm talking about. But like, they're the best toy. They they get them started on like tug of war and like, you know, other games like tennis balls start off with fetch and then you go into tug of war with ropes, which is really good for them. And I would also know don't pull that hard or you might pull out their teeth, just saying yourself. And um, another thing is you should probably also buy, um, so then we go into like the more cleanup thing. Now. I choose to be, for my dogs, I know a lot of people use doggy bags to clean up their bathroom. So all dogs have to use the bathroom. I will just tell you this, every animal has to use the bathroom. So dogs are no different. They have to use the bathroom. So what you should probably buy, I know a lot of people buy like some, a fair amount of people buy by um, doggy poop bags, which is, and they're not that um, bad. Like, see, I don't, 
if you're like going on walks, I would take this. But like what I use for just my house in general is just gloves. Latex gloves, you know, gloves, gloves, gloves. I use, <laughs> I will tell you what type of glove I use. I use plastic gloves. Like latex, Alex, no, I won't show you. Um, but I use like these types of gloves for my, for cleaning up my dog's bathroom. Now this is, I know there's like a pooper scooper thing, which like you hold it at the handle, it's got like this long thing and then it picks up poop and then you throw it in the garbage bag. Now, if you're going to own a dog, I would use garbage bags. Now, like I said, I don't know what type of poop such walrus take, but I know that like big dogs like mine take like solid, uh, this is disgusting, but like, I don't know, I'm getting really off topic, and we'll just close the dog and clean up video. How to take care of a dog, slash best type of dog for beginner dogs, for beginner dog owners. So this video is, um, so we also go into the, um, they're very like, dogs, 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 dogs. I like dogs personally, and I will tell a little bit about that in the next video of the post. I think mine is just gonna become like dog care video channel, I don't know really, but um, I personally think that this is also a good thing. And for exercise, I would of course, like playing with your dogs also gives you a lot of exercise, especially fetch. Fetch is like the best game in the world for my dog. Also, I will have you know that if you live in like Arizona and you have like a lot of rocks in your yard, my dog likes to bring rocks to me and it's annoying. Mm. And I know, and that sounds like I'm being kind of like, I knew what I was getting into when I was owning a dog. I know that like, mm. I will also tell you this, dogs don't stay puppies forever. Certain types of dogs don't stay puppies forever. They will grow out of that puppy age and like my dog will bite you a lot and like knowing about dogs is a lot to learn and this is just a video you shouldn't just go off of my video you should go and search the internet but when you when you buy a dog just make sure that like when it's like all cute and puppy all dogs are cute according to me but like puppies seem to be especially cuter but all dogs are cute in my opinion, even the hairless ones. But like dogs grow out of that like puppy thing. They also will bite you a lot and, they'll, and their bites will get harder. They'll scratch you when they're excited. And they will grow out of that. Maybe not the scratching part, but they will grow out of the biting part. It takes them about two years old to grow out of it, which is like the big responsibility with, holding, with handling dogs. Dogs have a special, special thing for like, you have to weigh out certain things. This is why, in my opinion, dogs are better than cats. I love cats and I love dogs. I love all animals. I mean, I think that dogs are just like one of the more responsible pets, in my opinion. If you wanna learn responsibility and like stuff like that, and learn it the hard way, you can go ahead and buy a dog. Dogs in general happen to be, um, the best type of dog in my opinion, but I will say that it's really hard to like comprehend that. But this video is getting a little long and I'm so sorry about that. But thank you guys, <clears throat> so guys for watching, but I will be more active and please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and have an interesting day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.